Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play. Today we are doing Oxen Free, an older game, although I've never played it. This is the GOG version. Uh, GOG had it free for a day. This was actually... It used to be a military base. Oh. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned mm -hmm. to an army thing, then it mm -hmm. became a bird thing, and a museum, or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless mm -hmm. he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever, and ruined it. I tried to know as little as I can about this game. Hey, I've heard it's amazing, it and the conversational stuff is good. Like ten minutes. I can Mission watch control the Alex. Of the this is Big Papa. Listen to you Do you read me? Time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. I think some two cookies. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. Oh, that's so you all moved in? Um, We're turning not, people on this. Not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? How did he cool forget guy, that was cool even a thing? You get cool sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So, you're in luck. I feel like so, this is already brimming with hipster. Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato block. Ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. All right, I already, I already don't like that guy. I can't Check even your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Oh, I don't even know. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like Yeah, let's do it. I'm just gonna interrupt him. I don't like that guy. He talks too damn much right off the bat. Like Jonas Salk? Right? Patient Zero? AIDS guy? It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the line guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. I'm already joining the fun. We uh need a girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. I swear to God. Alex, we're not taking the pick until you get in here. Shut up. I get tired. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Sweet. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got model from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh. Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. No, I hope not, Christina, man. with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. I don't. There's no radio reception on the island. Really we haven't know got what's to hear going it before. Totally we kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. 
I don't expect too much, but no, nah, it'll be fun. Space is You'll see. Can I slap that guy? Now, don't get me wrong. I uh, feel like the game's gonna go somewhere interesting, and I know it's got a, a few awards under its belt. I just found this uh, Chetty Cathy guy here a little too hipsterish and annoying for my liking, but I'll give it a try. I know everybody's probably screaming at me right now for air. ripping Boys and girls. Dip, but... Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <sighs> yeah. Um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Yeah, sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. Since now, that's one. Okay, just remember, aim to throw up in the water. Here's the smoke if you want it. Right. Or... Okay, so it's space, so it's contextual action. Um, <laughs> animation's interesting. You alright? <coughs> They're filtered. Yeah, no, it's just been a while. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. It's kind of like a choose an adventure. Actually, that, so far. I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but... Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Uh, what could you possibly have to say that Ren can't hear? It's not like that. It's nothing really. It's just something I want to talk to you about super fast. That's all. Okay. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? Oh, You're gonna Jesus. have all right to say like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway. No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up yes, with you. Yes, Ren. Oh, oh okay. okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case. Yeah. Whatever. Shut up. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? I don't know. He sometimes gets on my nerves. Yes, he does. Listen. I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Mm. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the is. attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement in my old house, so this. That was, um. That was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much to set up. Oh. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, you didn't know. I don't know either. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Mm -hmm. Well, let's do that shit because I really don't know what's going on. This whole game is just simply talking and it's gonna get old real quick. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a uh, quiche. You can tell I'm not a big fan of the whole hipster culture thing. No offense, it's just uh, oh, not I me. forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the book, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Two, I know. Some reason there. Uh, but maybe I heard Shut wrong. Shut up. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, 
and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. As well as 12 army... Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January... Honestly, how long it takes. Okay, well, why did that work quicker than that? Why did I try to work quicker? facilities office. Friend's sister, Allison, used to work there. You like her. She's tall. Um, all right. We're gonna skip looking and commenting on every little fucking thing in the world. Look, the other guys and girls must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh, huh. Wait, how'd they pull the- The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think- Oh. Well, I'm giving credit to this. Jerry told me that there's a way that he used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not- I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class... I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. Oh, well, yeah, that'll do it then. <laughs> of course you did. I know, I'm not commenting as much, guys, because this guy doesn't shut up. He talks a lot, so I'm kind of listening to everything, but uh, I still kind of annoyed. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just, you know, j just be cool, okay? Yeah. No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Be Deal? cool? Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. I push him oh, off something. Okay. Jonas, like me. now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. I thought all of them can wait. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> that's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How Why are they all so... Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so... Why is that so mom? shocking, Donald? Yeah, are well, they really I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... Heard. <laughs> Where's everyone else? Parent. Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona. 
This may be the most insufferable bunch of frickheads I've played in a video game. Probably not a popular opinion. Again, everybody talks about how amazing this game is. So far, beautiful art. The people are very whiny. Uh, so I don't really feel like I have anything in common. I, I don't quite get them. Man's great equalizer. So what's the um what's the like thing to do here? One is off for no reason. Go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as- No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first, we're I'll gonna- I'll start, Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa, wait, wait, wait. I wanna hear his answer. Uh... Oh man, you're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... Let's ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> Obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. And wait. Wait, that means you'd kill me? Mm -hmm. Out of everyone here. You're hey, best. you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I said. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite? Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. Do you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So, no, I don't. But nice try. Mm -hmm. Of turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, uh... Is there, like, a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't... I don't really need to know... What are you talking about? What is this even... What does this have to do with anything? Why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's, let's not stop like this. We should- Game's over, Ren, I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could- And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do too. 
Oh my God, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese. If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. No, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever you're ready. John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he... Unless uh, I get a crink in my back, which wouldn't happen if you don't go soon. <laughs> I don't know. So, what happened? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm, probably a five. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. Maybe you should just give her a little space, you know? Really? I thought you girls liked to be pursued. No, no, we like a challenge. We like something to catch. That's why they call it a catch. Oh, all right. I, I see where your head's at. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Me, me, me. Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Jesus Town. Christ. Those Ew. look like brownies. Brown magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? Mm -hmm. The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... Well, that seemed oh, good. even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How, how is this, how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, it did to me. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Uh... It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? It sounded like static. I don't know what they're freaking out over. There's like... Yeah. This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous... No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies-filled bat. Or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I Thank think. Thank God. I think I mismeasured the magic. Oh, that's the most annoying character gone for now. And again, some of you probably have. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of different experiences you can have in this game because you have to pick so many choices to talk, so that part's kind of neat. Um, and again, I'm not trying to dog on the game itself. It's a beautifully made game. I, uh, just find that dude very annoying. Yeah, I mean, even here, the dirt is very nice. Jonas! Jonas! I wish I understood more of what these choices have to do with what I'm doing. Some of them, but... I'm just gonna wing that, I suppose. I wonder if using my radio here will give any help. I don't get them being that afraid of the sound though, because all I really hear is a bit of static and some mom and the light that I think the light part would be interesting. I don't hear any like their voices or anything and that, that would have warranted the other two conversation choices of so I'm wondering about that one. Hey, that's just me. And again, if it is, you know, feel free to comment. I know I'm already going to get some hate because I wasn't totally all up on this game. And I know a lot of you seem to really enjoy it. And I, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying it enough to keep playing it. Um... I suppose maybe it's I'm a little more old school and so I don't feel like I can relate to these characters as much. Like the step or other thing, it's funny to me that everybody's acting like that's the weirdest rarest unicorn around. I don't know where they're living where they don't hear step brothers regularly. Jonas, seriously, where are you? But uh yeah, me in particular, I find that slightly weird. That they're just not we're used to the idea of a stepbrother and treated like a magical organic or something like this kid is the rarest thing that's ever existed. Step parents and children have been constantly, so I don't know. Sort of weird. Sort of weird. And the one lady's like, okay, well that's a thing, that's a thing that's happening. What are you talking about? Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen. 
I mean, there, so yeah, I have a few questions about some of the time tests and things in here. But the animation style here is really nice. See a man about a dog. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Oh, he's, uh... Are you okay? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me? I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought, I thought I heard somebody down here, but, you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this, how this happens. No, it's, uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me, I failed geology. Uh, there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Let's just go. Jesus. So much talking and so little happening. Trying to talk to me. I know it's going to pick up somewhere. Like, this is nice? very pretty. I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating um, triangle light? Thing. Shit up there. Um, yes. It, Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Crap, does any of Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Let's do it. Come on. Radio I time. Am. Shut up. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. Okay. No, you didn't just try. Okay. I don't know. <sighs> Are you gonna make me beg? I'm really gonna punch this dickhead in the neck. Please, Alex. Please, let's do. Th oh my God! Is this? Are you? Is this? You? Are you doing this? Uh, I, I think. I... 
I, I don't know what you mean, so I can't. Bob Tail. Please, children, bye. Alex! What? Well, not Alex! Alex! We're in Nantucket. Alex? Are you okay? Mm-hmm. You all right? I thought you were dead. What happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped. I don't know. This is kind of exciting, right? Exciting? Alex, we don't... To think something's exciting, you kind of have to know what that something is first. And we just got crapped out of the laser light show from hell, so... Yeah, we don't know what's going on, but it's like weird and crazy and magic. So, I mean, don't you want to? No, I don't. Whatever you're going to say, unless it's leave, I don't want to at all. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So, Jonas, believe me, I wouldn't do that to you. Point to point from its receipts, not that cool. Microwave from its dish. Band okay, for satellite reception well, I hope so. And military air bands for nearby the tower is a working walk-talkie or something. The tower houses its office in a segmented platform Wait, Jonas, directly underneath its antenna and happened. dish. My radio... I guess opened something and that something did something else and that something was really friggin scary and horrible So let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy That's weird. Got a buggy there. I'm gonna stick to you and try to go. It's locked. Let me try. Mm hmm. Oh, why, thank you. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably the same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. I have to say, I'm impressed. How'd you do that? It's just pressure and a library card for most older locks. Huh. Cool. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. Jesus. Hello? Alex? Alex? When? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ, thank 
Vishnu, I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like... Like, just the worst thing ever. Just... Why... How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or... I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I... I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something, or they do, Wait, like... Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Oh, Clarissa. I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I, I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I, I don't remember like the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can, it says it can contact Kamina, but I don't, I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? Look, Clarissa, just, you have a radio. Work it out for yourself. Ren needs my help. Wait, Alex. Ren, mm -hmm. just pick me up, okay? Just come and pick me up. I'm really not great. Look, Alex, just whatever you do, this is vitally important now. Heed the words. Heed these words. Just whatever you do, don't... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Clarissa, you still there? She hung up too. I probably do Clarissa. So, wanna truck over to Milner first? Kind of a that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Uh, SOS? Mayday, Mayday, um, CQD? CQD? Come quick, danger. It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. I know Ren's scared, but Clarissa's walkie-talkie might be more important. Be Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> so, Ren or Clarissa? Seriously. Ren needs us more. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Mm -hmm. zero, zero, zero. Okay. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous. All right, I'm going to end this here. Uh, thank you all very much for watching Oxygen Free. Interesting game. I didn't do it more than I thought I would. Enjoyed it. Ren is still an annoying ass character though. In my opinion. Um, and I don't really understand what's going on with nobody believing the words step brother. It's almost like they've ever heard of one before. Which... Sorry guys. But anyways, very entertaining game. Beautiful artwork. Very engaging uh, music. The soundtrack is very nice. Um, so yeah, pretty cool game. I like the mechanic there with the radio. That's something I haven't seen before in a game, so that's kind of neat. Um, so yeah, uh, give us a like, share us on your social media, and you all have a great day.